Hello, this is Dark Leviathans playing Guild Wars 2, bringing you a quick guide on how to make money when you have low funds. Now, with that being said, it's not going to be something that is a get-rich-quick kind of deal. This is going to take some time, and it's going to take some effort. Most things that you need in life will have to take some hard work. Now, as you look at the screen here, I've been doing a lot of researching on carrots and cabbage if you look up on the basic ingredients, you have potato, lettuce, spinach leaves, strawberries, grapes, cabbage, cauliflower, and so on and so forth. If you were to search up these items and look at their purchasing price of what most players are buying them for, and then look at the selling price, you can establish how much in profit and or loss you're going to have with that item. And inside the description of this video, there will be a link to a calculator that's automatically going to tell us what the cost, the listing fee, and the sale fee would be in the stacks. So if you were looking at maybe purchasing 250 of them or so on and so forth, it will tell you how much in each criteria, how much it's going to be. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and look at the potato for example purposes. And over here on the left side, that is what players are currently purchasing this item for so they're going for one silver and 85 copper and the current sellers are selling them for two silver zero copper now when we go ahead and look at this website we're gonna see that I plugged in one silver 85 copper and two silver and zero copper for the buy price and the sell price and right here under the buy price it shows the break even it has to be selling for two silver and 18 copper each out of the 250 stack and the reason for it is over here you got a total revenue of five gold your initial cost for all of this is four gold 62 silver and 50 copper then you also have your listing fee of 25 silver and your sales fee of 50 silver so each stack of 250 is then to have a profit of negative 37 silver and 50 copper off this kind of a deal now with that being said, I just want to go ahead and say do not get discouraged just because one particular ingredient is not going to make profit. Now if we go ahead and look at the carrot. Now I started off with the carrot when I first started doing some research on the ingredients and I found out for me in particular this one has the best revenue. Now if you look over here we got selling it for two silver and seven copper and then we're selling them for two silver sixty six copper. Now if we go ahead and look at the website again, go ahead and plug in the new information that has been updated. Now to break even at buying each carrot for 2 silver and 7 copper, I'd have to sell it for 2 silver and 44 copper. And you can see here we're selling it for 22 copper more. And go ahead and look at the revenue and such, its revenue is sitting at 6 gold, 65 silver, and 0 copper. The cost is showing five gold, 17 silver, and 50 copper. Listing fee and the sales fee is listed right there and we're actually having a profit per stack of 250 at 47 silver and 75 copper. Now I started off with the carrot when I only had maybe a gold or two so it does take some time to start getting up to a stack of 250 but it is worth it in the long run. Now I'm gonna go ahead and refresh the carrot real fast and you can see that it's highly moving. Um, the purchasing price has gone up a little bit and so has the selling price as in reverse though. So it's constant. It's not really um, a dull item to be messing with. I think it's something that's a very movable item. It doesn't take long to purchase them and or sell them. I was able to go from one to two gold to now I can getting like 20 gold a day just by buying and reselling a stack of a thousand and if not more and I've been able to purchase inventory bags I've been able to purchase you know better weapons and it's just so much easier in my opinion to have this on the side to help you you know generate some money and future based wise as you get better at re-rolling items you can get into this the currency exchange now if you look right over here on the get gems area it's showing that 800 gems by the way is ten dollars worth it's 164 gold 36 silver and 92 copper right now 
So as you get better at re-rolling, you, you know, items inside the game, you can start contributing that, you know, funds towards the gems. And as you get better and you got more stacks going, you got more flipping going on, you're ha creating a better profit each day you can start investing a portion of your profits towards a gem fund and start purchasing your cosmetics, your boosts, all these other good, you know, items that you want to purchase but you don't want to buy gems or you can't buy gems. This would be the alternative and it's literally the best thing that you could possibly do if you would put yourself towards it. I used to play a game called Perfect World International. Um, they had a similar system installed and it was troublesome at the time because I wasn't working so I wasn't able to get the boost or the inventory expansions, the bag expansions, the, you know everything that that game offered through real money currency I just could not afford or obtain until I discovered they had this kind of exchange going on so it takes time but it benefits you in the long run especially if you start getting yourself into multiple different items do more research you know you gotta sit down look at the auction house see what's selling see what's buying see what's the hot item see what's not the hot item make your decisions and act upon that and by doing so you can generate lots of money on the side you know besides of what you do with dungeons and events and all these other ways of obtaining rare items that you would sell in the auction house for a decent amount of money that you have an extra revenue coming on along for you with that being done like I said it's just a good thing to practice especially if you can spare 20 minutes a day give or take just sit at the black lion trader and just research it and for me in particular my biggest problem was not having enough bag space and I haven't bought the gems yet but I was capable of buying 18 slot 20 slot bags for my character just by doing this resale on items that are constantly moving and by you know each bag that is like 18 slot costs around two and a half to three gold a pop and by doing all the resale that was achievable and I was still able to resell without taking a huge chunk out of my gold pool that I use for buying and selling of items. Now I just want to go ahead and say thank you for everyone who has viewed and watched this video and if it was helpful please like subscribe and if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask um, right now Guild Wars 2 is a learning experience for me this was just something that I personally learned just by attempting and trying and using my personal inf you know knowledge on other games that I've played and putting it all together to see where I can go with this and like I said thanks again and any questions feel free to ask